Okay, we got a timber jack here to work on. Nothing major, just a little bit of tinkering around with. This is from Finkelstein Loggin. He's a jackass we know. Okay, this is all we got. One of the projects left. We got to repack the cylinder. We got two kits. Apparently, there's two different ones you could have. Probably it's between the D series and the A's and D's. Okay. I'm gonna take a whack at our steel arm cylinder here today. Gotta get our hoses unhooked. Our biggest problem is getting that stupid little spiral pin out of there. We get that out of there, then we should have it decked. Get the pin out of there. Pull the bolts out, put the cylinder apart. Sounds easy enough. Took our lines off and capped them, and then we got them in a bucket. Now we're going to cycle that cylinder and push all the oil out of it so we don't make a humongous mess. bolts 7 16 pulls that off there's the gland now you got to push that gland in there a little bit and then it'll expose the ring that you pop out of there to get the gland out Okay, so we got our clip exposed. There's a steel ring in there you gotta pry out of there. I think some people call it a Jesus clip. I don't know why they call it a Jesus clip, maybe we'll find out. Oh yeah, he expected this to come out a little bit harder than it did. He pulled it right out of there and bounced it off the blade like he was on the gong show. I hope I didn't smash it on nothing. Okay, we got our steering piston and rod assembly mounted in the vise here. We'll take this apart and check it out. See what we got. See how much damage we did to it when we bounced it off the blade. That's usually good for it. We do that in the factory we'll hit one time before they put them together. Okay. <clears throat> we got our cylinder apart. 
not sure where this old ring goes for sure. But there's our little Jesus ring. So you got this cover on the outside, close to the gland. Got a seal in there for dirt. That's pretty well cheddared. And here's the gland. Got a little bit of a dinged up spot there. That's not from us. You can tell it's old. And then got some pressure seal for the piston. A couple outer o rings there that look pretty flat. So. Here's the piston, three pieces, O-ring between each section. That's just a flat plate. And on this section, just like the back, a little spacer and a pressure seal. The orange thing is a pressure seal. Rod looks really nice. So, we got a seal kit, we'll change the seals. If you see there's a little o-ring in the center, o-ring always goes towards the oil. Alright, this is a wiper seal. That's meant to go in there and wipe the rod, dirt and shit off the rod as the rod goes in and out. And hopefully keep the dirt from going inside. Another way of thinking is the seal has a lip, lip side to it. That would go towards the uh, oil also. The pressure is applied to the lip and the lip swells up and kind of seals against the barrel to keep the high pressure oil from bypassing the piston. And then the other piece that goes in behind the seal is a wear ring. And that keeps the metal part from scraping on the inside of the barrel as it goes back and forth. The plastic part's a little bit bigger than the metal. Okay, we still got our mystery O-ring. We double checked all our parts. Two O-rings for the gland. O-ring and a seal for the piston half. O-ring and a seal for the piston half. Two small rings for the halves of the piston half. We got a rod seal and a backup plastic and a dust wiper. Exactly the same part that the kit had, but we still don't know where this come from come out of the cylinder when we pulled the gland out but I really don't know where it was at I guess it had to been out here somewhere why I wouldn't know so I'm gonna put it back together with the right shit we'll check the service book first so I don't know okay so here's the dozer steering and dozer cylinder assembly so, 
Basically, we got the rod, and here's the gland. So we've got the dust seal, the plate. This is our pressure seal. This map okay, I'm having a hard time seeing what you're showing me here when you don't move the camera. Oh, no, that's the wrong way. Half of shell for Whatever. You probably wouldn't make any sense anyhow if I could see what you were talking sealing about. Back up, center plate, sealing back up, O-ring, and the back half shell, and then the knot. I don't see any other O-ring. We're going to omit that O-ring. I don't know what they were doing with that.